Let's look at this data set. We can see that there are four ones, two threes, three fives, and five nines. For this kind of data set with repeated values, we usually put it in a table and group values together. The first row X is all the possible values. The second row is frequency. Frequency is the number of appearances or occurrences. Number one appears four times. So its frequency is four. Number three appears twice. So its frequency is two. The total number of values, n, is the sum of all frequencies, or sigma f. In this data set, there are 13 values. This is another kind of group data. Each group has a range. This means there are four values between 1 and 10, two values between 10 and 30, three values between 30 and 35, and four values between 35 and 60. The range is called a class. There are four classes, 1 to 10, 10 to 30, 30 to 35, and 35 to 60. We know there are four values from 1 to 10, but we don't know their exact values. The total number of values, n, is still sigma f. And it's 13 for this data set. The mean is the sum of all values divided by the number of values. We know the number of values is sigma f, which is 13. There are four ones, two threes, three fives, and four nines. So the sum of all values is 1 times 4, plus 3 times 2, plus 5 times 3, plus 9 times 4. So the mean x bar is this sum divided by 13, which is 4.69. And that leads to the formula of the mean for group data. It is sigma f times x, over sigma f. For class data, since the exact values in each class are unknown, we use the mid-class value to estimate the mean. For class 1 to 10, the mid-class value is 1 plus 10 over 2, which is 5.5. For class 10 to 30, the mid-class value is 10 plus 30 over 2, which 20. So on and so forth. Therefore, using the same formula, we estimate the mean x bar of the second data as 5.5 times 4, plus 20 times 2, plus 32.5 times 3, plus 47.5 times 4, divided by 13, which is 26.9. The variance is calculated by the second method, mean of squares minus square of mean. The mean of squares is sigma fx squared, over sigma f. For this grouped data, we first calculate the total number of values, sigma f. Then, we add a row of x squared. They are 1, 9, 25 and 81. Next, we add a row of f times x, and calculate the products. They are 4, 6, 15 and 36. Finally, we add a row of f times x squared, and calculate the products. They are 4, 18, 75 and 324. Now we have all the values to calculate the variance. First, calculate the mean x bar. It is the sum of the fourth row divided by sigma f. We keep the exact value here for later calculation. And the variance is the sum of the fifth row divided by sigma f, minus the square of x bar calculated before. So the variance is 10.4. Remember to keep the exact value of x bar to avoid loss of precision. For group classes, we use the same formula with mid-class value. First, we calculate sigma f. And we add a row of mid-class value. Then we add a rows of x squared. Here, we square the mid-class value. They are 30.25, 400, 1056.25 and 2256.25. Then, we multiply frequency with mid-class value. Finally, we multiply frequency the square of mid-class value. To calculate the mean, we add all values in row 5, f times x, and divide it by sigma f, 13. To calculate the variance, we add all values in row 6, f times x squared, divide it by 13, and minus the square of the mean. It is approximately 286. So you can see that we need one more row of mid-class value for group classes. In this class, we learned, 
grouped data and grouped data with classes. Frequency is the number of appearances or occurrences. The total number of values if sigma f. The mean is sigma fx, divided by sigma f. The variance is mean of squares minus square of mean, which is sigma fx squared over sigma f, minus x bar squared. Since exact values are unknown in group classes, we use mid-class value to estimate the mean and the variance.